Hello, everybody. Gamer Penny here, bringing you another episode of our Spirit Fair Let's Play, and we are back with Stella. Um, and we don't have a lot to do before night falls. Um, we could set our course for the morning, but we're gonna have to reset it. Um, definitely gonna want to just go to the bus stop. Maybe we can get there before it gets extreme night. Um, and as we're doing that, so we got a bigger place. Oh, it goes up. So we are really gonna want that jet stream, like, going up the middle. It is huge. This straight over here. And a foundry on top of it. Because I love that foundry being up there. Um these up here for right now. Can I put this? Really, I could put that there and then put... And is there anything that would fit right within that little wedge? This part of the house? Nothing's like the right size to fit right in the middle of that. Um, okay. This is kind of an awkward house. What if we... That's interesting. If I put the houses where no one's living in. Up in the corner. <laughs> Um, we put kind of, this is our work area over here, so we'll put the thing there. Um, this also needs to go somewhere. Okay, so that flattens out to look like that. I don't think I have anything that fits that right now. Maybe the windmill will. That shop down here. That's where we had it, I think. Um. Gosh. We have so much room now. <laughs> we can salvage. Unsalvageable. Unsalvageable. Oh, okay. Um. Well, you know what? Put this back down here. It's good for there. And then, what if we did just like garden row right here? That won't fit. We put this here? Ooh, yeah. Okay. And then put the sheep. Oh, this poor sheep. <laughs> Sheep's over there. this. Yuck, I hate it. <laughs> um, move this house. Okay. Guest house. Okay, uh, guest house right here, that fits, there. Let's see. Any square thing that fits right in there? Not really. I mean, we're gonna be 
moving everything again when uh, we make that windmill. Now let's put those there. We're gonna be moving everything again, so it's no worries. I hate it, <laughs> but it's okay. All right, uh, we made it to the bus stop, but it is too late, so. We'll sleep till morning. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like our, I liked it how it was. Now it just feels weird. Can I get one of those, um... Everyone up. How much for... one of these? I can make that. So if I put that, like, right here, I'll be able to glide up to the top real quick. Okay. Alright. Let's go to Furigama. Turn in that wood carving. Let me just test this out. Wheel To the sheep. <laughs> Alright, cool. So we know we've got that. Travel. I'm gonna go Furigama is, of course... over here. So we're gonna go here. Okay, and let's go up here. Spirit from a rare chest we still need to get. And pork. takes us up to our orchard as well, so. Ooh, our trees are getting pretty big. Morning, Sprout. Morning. We're probably gonna have someone new joining us. Hello, sheep. Are you hungry? You're not good. I should probably build that sheep a, uh, a place, huh? I was worried about, about running out of space, but... We'll see. Alright, where is our spirit we needed to talk to? Is it this guy? Oh. Where's my brother? He should be here. No. This guy. Back again, are you? And would you look at that? You've got the piece. Oh, Stella, this is very good. You've managed to wrestle the woodprint from the cold hands of the hag. What ingenuity! What spunk! Yes, you'll prove to be an immense asset to my all my all of my endeavors. Shall I say our endeavors? Well, it is decided then. There's no pursuit left for me on this island. Therefore, I will join your little expedition. As a passenger, mind you, not as a crew member. Yes, yes, such a boat might just be the perfect gallery. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Okay. I can't go in here. But you're part of my crew now. I wish I knew how to meditate at these, because I'm pretty sure. She told us how to meditate and I just forgot. All 
All right, let's go see who our new crew member is. An art collector. Uh huh. I'm ready. Let's go. I have no idea what kind of animal that is. Uh -huh. All right, all right. I know I can do it. Sure, it might tingle a bit, but well, what if it hurts? Uh -huh. Ah, oh, you're here, good. You won't let it be painful, will you? Uh-huh. Okay, I don't really trust you, but what choice do I have anyways? <laughs> like a bird? Oh, a beautiful bird. Uh -huh. Ha! I did it, and I didn't even faint. It actually feels all right. Who knew? Well then, let's get started. What? Oh, but of course, pardon my enthusiasm. Uh -huh. I forgot to introduce myself. How forgetful and impolite. I'm Gustav, and I don't know why, but I can't exactly shake the feeling that we've met each other already. Anyhow, I'm glad that our paths have crossed on this island, and I know that together we will accomplish great uh -huh. things. This world is part wonderful and disgusting, and so is art. Truly, Stella, the gods have struck us with a grand inspiration. It is our solemn duty to elevate souls with beauty and awe. My resolve is strong, Stella. I will put together the greatest exhibit of my life, and you will help me. Oh how, how, oh, how grandiose it will be. Ah, but first, payment. I've been called a lot of things, but never a cheapskate. Oh, an oval. How many ovals do we have now? Just one? Okay. We need two for shrines. So. Um. Do you think he needs a house? Little one. Yes. Oh, it's next meal coming along. Do you need any help? Oh, you're hungry. Okay. How about, um... Dessert. Oh, my. You must know I really love desserts. Okay. Well, now what? We need marble? We can't do that yet. I need to figure out where to get some stuff here. Go fish up that tuna. Was this more tuna? I did that. Where are we? We are... Where are we? We are, um... Rogawa. Oh, we're right here. You know what? Let's go there. I don't know what's out there, but we're gonna go. Oh yes, he gave us a quest. Good. Good. Before we start working on the exhibition proper, some preparations are required. Namely, making sure we have access to proper installations. Now bear with me, is the boat equipped with some sort of woodworking facility, such as a sawmill? Yeah. It would have numerous structural applications. Uh -huh. Yes? How convenient. A loom would also allow us to make clothing and canvas. Is there one aboard? Fantastic. A foundry with metalworking tools has also has a number of applications. Is there anything that could fit the bill? Uh -huh. There is. A fully functioning foundry. You've got quite a well-furnished ship, uh -huh. Stella. And finally, the cornerstone of any curator's work, a mailbox. Correspondence with my fellow academics and collectors is essential to my work oh. here. You've built a mailbox already? Fantastic. Well, it seems a couple of items are left unchecked. I'll let you get to it. Wait. What items? Lock and load? Oh, no, those are our shenanigans. Wait, no, I don't have anything left unchecked. Hey, talk to me. I'm gonna hug you. Um, uh oh, fire? Uh huh. Okay. Oh, we can't go that far. Alright, well. Fine. We're out of luck there. Uh, let's see, where else do we wanna go? Okay, can't go that way. 
Uh, we can't go through that. We need some sort of light. Maybe up? Gosh, I have no idea where we go next. Because I, I don't know where to get aluminum. Look at these, I suppose. Hello, Fluffy. Hello, Fluffy. You're hungry for one, and then we'll trim you for another. So we need the rock cutter thing, and for that we need... Uh, one more spirit flower, so we gotta take one more person there. I don't know where to get fire go... Fire glow! Uh, aluminum, we can go back to the... The dragon, but I don't know where to get marble. It's the other thing. Um. Is there anything I can improve here? Nope. Nope. Wait. Built. Oh god. It scares me every time. I think she's almost gone. Oh, lights. Fire glow. Where the heck do you get fire glow, man? Good, good. Torture's good. These two guys are gone. Boom is good. Foundry's good. Sheep is good. Needs bottled ectoplasm and ash plank. Incredible! Matter up here. Help me. You see that crate? Be back there in a second. What's up? We grew a tree? Oh. This tree, Stella, it grew so quickly. I'm sure the love you gave it helped it tremendously. The laws of this world would allow it. Well, I'm glad the tree is fully grown now. I know you'll be able to build some great memories here. Stella, I've been doing some thinking. All my life, I've had to take care of others. Cooking, cleaning, taking care of the children. They're a blessing, really, but I've never had any time for... Excitement. Adventure. I thought if it's not too much of a hassle, of course, and since we're traveling all over, all of the time, well, maybe you could come on a little trip with me. Just you and me. It'll be fun, I promise. How about that little hamlet, Nordwheeler, was it? From what I've heard, it sounds just like my Swedish romance novels. Oh, how I can devour these. What, you're also a fan? I knew you were a woman of culture. Anyway, if we're ever around these parts, I think we would have loads of fun. Hey. We'll give her a hug. Very nice, thank you. Quite welcome. Can I do anything with this? No. Okay, let me go get my treasures. Dive here. Is that iron? Aluminum. Copper. Cotton, cabbage, and metal rope. Is that a quartz? Hoping maybe we'd get marble, but... Okay, she wanted to go somewhere. Luminamore. Mm -hmm. She wanted to go... Nordwell. We can't get through there. Maybe when we get the lights, we'll be able to go down there. 
We need the rocks to get through here. Nordwell? Oh, up here. She wants to go. <gasps> Chicken! Where are we? Is that a long way away? A little bit, but it'll be okay. Okay, cool. Then we can get chicken and we can make stuff for our uncle. You're okay. Probably freezing because we took that stuff off of you. You guys are good. Almost night time, so. Ooh. You need a bucket of fried chicken, yes, I know. Oh, you're starving. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh. Give you a hug. Ooh. Okay. Whee! <laughs> I love that. Oh, both trees are grown now. So, do they- you have to replant the trees later on, or... after a few harvests or something? Do some fishing. You never know what we'll catch. It's too dark to navigate. Okay. This one's a toughie. Blue salmon. We have that one yet. Alright, go to sleep. Yep. And then we'll continue on in the morning. Is that the bird sleeping? <laughs> All right. Good morning, everybody. Oh, someone has a quest. Hello. Now that our preparatory work is fully complete, I think it is time to start working on some proper infrastructure. Ideally, a project of this breath would require a dedicated space to protect the more fragile pieces from the elements. But it also requires an office desk from which the curator can work comfortably. As well as a waiting area, a front desk, some storage, maybe even a gift shop, though we might manage without one. What? A bit much? On the contrary, Stella, I assure you that all of these are perfectly necessary. Luckily, as a rational man, I realize that space might be an issue. That's why I have thought of a multi-purpose area that would do wonderfully. Oh. Let's get to it then. Grab a pencil and listen carefully. The gallery is a paradoxal space, for it both houses works of art and is one. Architecture is, after all, the first expression of humanity's mastery over nature. <laughs> Look at us with our tongues sticking out, taking notes. Uh -huh. As such, like a template suitable... <laughs> And that is one of the, <laughs> look at us now, one of the many ways the Bauhaus School of Chicago integrated Etruscan architecture and its ideas. All right, have you got all that written down? I don't mind going over the finer points of the lecture again. Do you need me to repeat? No. Well, if you insist, I'll let you get to it then. Gustav's Gallery. How big is this gallery, huh? Marble, cotton thread, oak plank. Got the glass. I need to find marble. I think I can make cotton thread because I grew cotton. We can make, we definitely make that oak plank. Um, I've got cotton actually right here. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Let's um, plant some more here. Hey, how are you? Okay. Then go over here and make some cotton. Let's say cotton thread or cotton cloth. I forget. 
get what it's hello Cotton thread. Oh, I need one more. Okay. That's fine. You're singing to the trees, uncle. They're both good. I haven't made anything yet, though. Um, and I know I've checked this a million times. What do we need for that windmill? Marble again. Oak plank and illuminating it. Okay. We're gonna make some planks. Some oak planks here. Uh, where's the door? Right here. Oh, you used the sawdust for coal. That's right. I was, think I was trying to remember that in the last episode. What do you use the sawdust for when you put it in the oven? To make coal if we need it. Down the rabbit hole, advanced. Okay. That's her wanting to go here. we needed to make oh oh there's an ability thing here okay Wait, I'll be right back because I needed to make um what do we say aluminum okay. this one's the easy one to make or a quick one I should say Aluminum bars. Okay, let's go to the, uh, the place and see what they have here. E, we're going on our adventure. How oh, invigorating! Oh, Stella, thank you so much for bringing me here. <clears throat> I'll smell the crisp winter air and these colors. Why I feel like a young girl again. Oh, let's go already. I can't wait to see all the sights. Cool. Hey, you got, um... Oh, you're hungry. Hold on. Uh, you like... Old-fashioned. I'll give you meat stew. Okay. Alright. Bye. Can you get out uh, from where the shopkeeper is? There we go. Um, bye. Oh, he sells a new score to a song that's perfect for when the leaves are falling. Interesting. Chicken! Okay. Celery, sunflower, pear. Pear tree, cabbage. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two. Th oh, that's all our money. Alright. Sell, though. What if I sold you some one, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three. If I sold you um some leaks. Uh if I gave you some tea this. Okay, that's very good to know. All right, see ya. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Let me just get the sheep. 
All right, what do you got? Is that an ancient wooden elevator cage? What a wonderful construction. I didn't think I'd ever see one with my own eyes. Remember? It's by climbing one of these that a Angsgar managed to get away from Harold's gang. A treacherous and icy cage that claimed many a young daredevil's life. But of course, Angsgar managed to escape with the Countess's sapphires with ease and grace. Yes, he was quite the cat burglar. Oh, look at me. I'm swooning just thinking about it. As for us, I think we should just climb the ladder. Watch out for ice patches. Good day, sir. I love her. Anything up over here? The house and a treasure. Uh, okay, I need to zip, zip thing. Oh, and the statue here with the bushes ever white. Just as I pictured, how uncanny. Doesn't it remind you of the shrine where Ansgar offered the sapphires to Agneta? I would have stolen a hundred gemstones and fought a thousand ruffians for the opportunity to gaze upon your beauty, but for a second. Oh, how romantic. And then she confessed her love. And then they... Well, you know what happened next. <laughs> Although in my mind, it wasn't so cold outside. Well, Ansgar sure was hot-blooded. I know that's how he makes me feel. Right on. Zip line. Okay, this is where we get our zip line then. Am I going in the water? Oh crap. <laughs> Hello, cat. Help! I'm stuck in the water. All right, she's got something upstairs now. I gotta go back up there. Let me climb that rope. Oh, and this dark, windy spot? Just like the scaffoldings where Ansgar and Harold dueled. Oh, I can see the scene so clearly. The clicking of the swords, the distant barking of dogs, and whistling of the policemen. Even the spoke reminds me of the train station below. And then glinting in the shadows, a small needle-like knife. And just as Ansgar has adeptly disarmed his opponent, the treacherous Agneta emerges and stabs Ansgar in the back. Of course, how could Ansgar know that she was the half-niece of the cruel Harold? The bleeding Ansgar advances haphazardly to the edge of the scaffolding. And as he reaches the edge, he glances back and finds that he is cornered by his opponents. And nowhere to go, they know it is but a matter of time before they can deliver him to Duke Frederick, Ansgar's long estranged twin brother and usurper of the family title. But Ansgar, elegant to his last breath, raises a hand in farewell, smiles softly, and... Just as he is engulfed by the smoke from the locomotive below. Jumps. Oh. <laughs> mm. Ouch. Oh, what? Oh, Stella, no, I'm all right, thank you. I'm good, I'm good. Just, I'm a little tired. Let's get back home, okay? Just, let's go. Oh. I get up there. There's a zip line from over there. Interesting. Okay. There's nothing to do in here? We could just go inside. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait up, I'm um I'm tired. Would you would you mind helping an old lady walk back to the tender? Good day, sir. Did she, did she say that to the sheep? Good day, sir. You losing her mind? Alright, there you go. Let's go home. Too dark to navigate. All right, well, let's sleep till morning then. Oh, our trees are done. Their sheeps are fluffy again. Okay. Let's 
see if it opened up any new spots up here. Yeah, one new one over here. Cabbage, cotton, metal rope, glass. Ooh, Holmberg. Let's go. Okay, now there's a couple things. One, you need to be sheared. Kinda off center there, but that's cool. Um, water the cotton, because I do need those to grow. Cherries. Apples. A minute, Stella. I wanted to have a word with you. We had some fun together with the trip and all. But I can't keep following you around like that. It's just too tiring. Besides, it's not befitting of an old lady like me. Just... Has anybody told you how smothering you can be? <laughs> Please, leave me some space now, will you? Oh, rude, what the heck? Maybe she's feeling like she's too old or something. Alright. Let's get you. You're hungry, so we'll feed ya. And shear ya. Alright, we've got a new new place. Loneberg discovered. What did we need for the lights? Oh, yes. Did you have something? Mom. Starving here. Not being dramatic. You're being dramatic. Oh god, sorry, bud. I forgot. Um... He probably likes fine dining, huh? Thank you, Skipper. This meal is nourishing. <laughs> you don't like it or dislike it. Alright. Uh, we... Nope. It... What were the lights for this? Fire glow. I still don't know where to get that stuff, so. Let's go to the shore. Another shop. Nope. I want to buy. A couple of cotton. Got metal rope. Glass. Okay. Oh my god, what the heck is that? That scared me in the background. I don't like it. That's all- Ooh, there's something in the water. I need zipline to go any further here. What was that? Beef fondue! We found a recipe? Really? Help me. I can't get up. <laughs> all right. Back to the ship. Um, what I want to do is try to make that fried chicken for our uncle then. Uh, I do see this stuff here though, actually. Oh, hey dude, you found us. Oh. <laughs> Francis says something new. You got a new errand. Okay. What do you? Can we sell? Do we have stuff to sell? We do. Sell that. Sell that. We got errands. Oh, we need iron ingot for that treasure map. We might be able to actually make that now. Sunflower seeds. Yes. Cotton seeds. Yes. No opal. Citrine. Cherry apple pear for a peach seed. Okay. Hold on, let me see if I can make some more... Um... Iron ingots. did he need for his thing? Oh, 
Okay, we got five. Should have probably looked with. Oh god. Taking the low road. Request complete. Didn't I just make it? Or was that aluminum that I made? I need iron. I have two. I need six. I don't think I have it. <laughs> Dang it. Well, we can still make it. Please don't. Okay. I really want that treasure map. But we're not gonna, unless we, because it gives five only, so. I'm off by one. Alright, well then we're done with you. Um, what you got over here? Something? Uh -huh. You might have noticed, but Alice, well, she seems to have some trouble getting around, doesn't she? I don't think she can use ladders uh -huh. anymore. Luckily for her, her house stands directly on the deck. I imagine she would be pretty lonely cooped up in there. Uh -huh. Found something you might like, perhaps. Here's a gift from my collection. I hope you appreciate the value of such oddities. Oh, he gives us stuff to sell. Let's keep him on the, uh... Oh, so she was gonna say put her house down on the deck. That's kind of cool. We already did. Hey. Yeah. I'd like to sell this as well. Um, let's try to make... Shum... Fried chicken. Wait, what's the recipe? Do we have it? Pork chop, fried chicken, chicken and a fat. I don't have a fat. <laughs> okay. Well, I've got chicken though. Oh, hello, it's you. Have you seen Eugene? He must be in the garage again. When you see him, can you ask him to bring me my old woolly? It's getting a bit chilly in here. Is she having, um... Is she having a, uh, like, dementia thing? That's really sad. Alright. Did we discover any new place? Just the bus stop. I think this line must be the outside of the map. Um, hmm. It's the rock cutter. Any lights to go there? Gosh. That treasure map would be fantastic right about now. Uh, I mean, I guess it's time to go get more. Oh, marble. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on a second. Zip line on. I need zip line. I need one more thing. Okay. Interesting. Narwhal is a giant size. Silica powder, we don't have that. Whoops! Move a tool, adding a picture frame. Fried chicken. Check on Alice in the morning. Is a fabric? I should find it and give it to her. Um, 
Should we go back to that CEO thing and see if we can do something with it? Piece of fabric, huh? Cotton fabric. Okay. Alice, where'd you go? Where's the fabric? Right here. Give. Oh. Thank you, but I don't want that. Really? After all that work I did? Wool fabric, linen fabric. Oh. What is that, a blanket? For me? I used to have a woolen blanket I liked very much. I must have misplaced it. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. Very nice, thank you. She's losing her mind. Which is extremely sad. Okay. We are now gonna go... Uh, probably to a bus stop. Luckily there's one right here. Fine music, good sir. What do we need to improve, improve this? Ash plank. Right, I don't know where that stuff is. Hello. I would like to travel because the CEO is this, I think. Bottom line corp. We'll go here. Maybe we need zip line to get this guy. I forgot why we couldn't get him last time, so take a look why okay oh uh, you know what we haven't fed our uncle in a while <laughs> it's like keeping a pet hey Yep, bucket of fried chicken, I know. Um, how about, uh, one of these? Okay, bye. Let's try cooking something. Ooh, mail. Cook, um, what can I make with an apple? Apple and flour? And an apple pie? We got mail. Vita Rama! Work and egg. Another week, another package from um, uh, bacon and eggs. Okay. Sick. Try making that in a little bit. Look at you, you're so cute. <laughs> Here we go. Is this other one's probably hungry too? You're good. I'm not even close to being done. What's gonna fish? Well, let's do one fish. We're almost to the place, so. Never mind. 
I'm just gonna see. I know we're over on time, actually, but I'm just gonna see. Uh, I think I see a zip line actually back there. All right, there's a shop here. Can't buy anything. I can only sell. Um, nothing there. Can't get up onto those crates. Yeah, that's the person that we need to join us, but... Ooh. Look at that fuse box, Stella. The glass is all busted up. That's not up to code. Ooh. If I was the union leader, believe you me, I'd make that greedy boss eat his own shoes. Can't get in here. Oh, I need- that's what I need. I need something here. Okay. I need something for that bounce. Alright. Well, what I think we're gonna do now is we'll go ahead and end the episode here then. Uh, cause there's... Nothing more we can do there, uh, without a skill. Let's see what we wound up making in the kitchen. Probably an apple pie, I would assume. Two apple pies! Alright. Yep, so I'm going to end the episode here. Guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Spirit Fair Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye everyone.